Torch? Arrows? Brace? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough runes. So I just got Elden Ring. Oh, he sees me. Never mind. It's just time for battle. All right. Let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! Oh, okay. That was a... Ooh, that... Bad Skelly. Bad Skelly. Bad Skelly. That's right. What the? Oh my god! Is that a bear? Ah! What the heck? Oh! oh this is... <laughs> Where did that come from? And so far, I think I'm doing pretty good. Ayo, hey free chest to take? It's only a little bit difficult. What the heck? I'll be honest, I've never played a Souls game before, and I was about to view Elden Ring as just another entry of a franchise I never cared about until I saw everyone giving this game insane scores. So, I took the bait and got the game. And what was I greeted with? You guessed it. Pain. Lots and lots of pain. While it's no surprise the game is very hard, that doesn't mean it's unfair. I mean, let's be honest. Imagine if the first Legend of Zelda game launched today and there were zero guides. People would probably be calling this game unfair. If you speak to the painfully obvious glowing old man, Elden Ring actually has an optional tutorial on the right, and people said that still wasn't enough somehow. Again, comparing this to Zelda, sure, there's a cave right in front of you, but I don't see a detailed map, list of objectives, Link talking to himself, or button prompt to figure that out, and this game is considered a classic. While both sides have valid arguments about accessibility in games versus playing how they're intended, I will admit, I enjoy the struggle so far. Starting off as a scrawny little bandit and taking on foes 50 times your size is really exciting, and once you overcome that challenge, it feels all the more rewarding. I won! the time of making this video, I've put in roughly 10 hours, and most of that time has been spent exploring the world. Again, I've seen the memes about what this game would look like if it was made like an Assassin's Creed game, and I'm actually glad none of that junk is in here. Sure, it's a little harder to keep track of missions and such, but that makes the interactions in this game all the much more memorable. I mean, when's the last time you did a side quest in the game that didn't feel like pandering or a bunch of filler? Sorry, Tarnish, but I don't give out credit. Come back when you have some... Maidens! Alright, getting out of here, getting out of here. I just, I just wanted my stuff. We'll fight another time. See you later. Goodbye. Hope you have a good one. I love how I put air just sticking out the straight of my middle of my... Wait, you can come out here too?! Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out! I have no HP! The boss chased me out into the overworld! He's still chasing me! Oh my god! 
I don't want to ramble on for too long, but overall, Elden Ring sets out to do what it was made to do. It makes you feel powerless and alone, but simultaneously makes you feel like Spider-Man. Makes you feel like a rising hero overcoming all odds. In a few months I hope to make a follow-up video, but I want to say thank you to all my friends who have helped me understand how this game works and ultimately just get good at it. Thanks and I'll see you later. Come back when you have some maidens.